Welcome to the All That Is She house tour. I'm going to give you a little show around, but first, for the important stuff, it's time for a cuppa. So yeah, we're moving. So that was the perfect time to give you a quick tour around the house and to answer any questions that we get asked quite a lot about certain products and certain features, like these or like the tree in Amelia's room or book headboard so answer a few questions about those I did put a question box out on Instagram yesterday um to ask if you have any other questions about our house there was quite a few um which were more related to the move and the house that we're buying and I'm not suspicious ship 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 I'm not superstitious in any way but I really don't want to jinx it. I don't want to make a video talking about this house that we fell in love with, um, something to go wrong. What I thought I'd do is I'd answer questions related to this house alone in this video, and then any questions about the move, that kind of thing, I will do a second video nearer the time or when things are more set in stone. Quite a lot of you ask why we're moving though, which I guess is more of a blanket question, which I can answer now. And it all boils down to space, living and workable space. So obviously we work from home and at the minute, because of the content that we're creating, particularly stop motions and videos, we are finding the space that we have available is becoming quite frustrating a lot of the time. And the only place that we can really film a good stop motion is in the garden. And so that's always weather dependent. And for anybody who lives in the UK and knows the UK, visited, has visited the UK or knows anything about our weather, you know that our weather is temperamental and it, is, it can change from wind, rain to sun in a day. So yeah, the weather's not really the best core worker for us. But also a livable space. So the downstairs in this house is perfect. We couldn't ask for anything more. The garden, I absolutely adore our garden. Um, but the upstairs is becoming quite tight. Um, the storage for Boy Dom and I's wardrobe area and clothing is, it's actually, it's getting quite dangerous because every time uh, Dom opens his wardrobe, he is hit by an avalanche of clothes. Um, so, you know, it's quite a dangerous, dangerous thing. Um, so the ho this house itself, it is about, I think it's like a 1950s house. And um, we bought it four and a half years ago. And when we bought it, it hadn't really, been touched or decorated for quite some time. About 30 years. Um, we're talking swirly carpets, embossed decorative wallpaper in every single room. That took us two weeks alone to get off. The utility room that we previously had was floor to ceiling polystyrene tiles. And then we also had this plastic box on the back of our house, which was classed as a conservatory, but it was totally unusable because it was either boiling hot or freezing cold there was nothing in between um so yeah however we were really really fortunate that at the time that we bought this house we were actually living with my mum, so it meant that we could get in as in get in and do the work without having to actually live here or live in what was essentially a building site so we did that we got in we did all the dirty jobs and then we moved in it definitely wasn't perfect. We didn't have blinds in the house when we moved in. I don't think we had internal doors, if I remember rightly. Um, there was a lot of things that still need to be done. And over the last four and a half years, it's just been a constant process. And we've just constantly been updating as we went along. And I'll probably say for the first time in four and a half year, we are now finished. And now we're moving. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is life. But yeah, so I thought I'd give you a little tour around the house, show you what is what, um, and answer any little questions that we've had. So, cheers to that. So welcome to our sitting room. <laughs> I'm actually laughing at kind of your face. <laughs> What's wrong smiling? with my face? He's smiling with us. <laughs> so this room used to go straight through 
um, and the kitchen was a lot smaller. We decided to make it more of a cosy, snug style room, so hence the dark paint. So this part here, this, um, there was a very, very small recess. Um, there used to be a, because it gas fire there? So I think it was back boiler. Back boiler. Anyway, so this was very small. Um, so what we decided to do is build it out slightly so we could sink the TV. And what it also means is you can tuck all the wires down the back of the telly. So you don't have any horrible wires hanging all over the place. Another thing that we ask about a lot is this lovely little guy here, our little zebra. Um, this is for, from Graham and Green. We decided, I say we, I mean obviously I didn't build these, but Boy uh, <laughs> Dome built these, I think it was just before we put it on the market actually, so just early last, early this year. Um, and then again we've just painted them all and made them really discreet. Um, almost as if they're not there. So I'll show you a little bit around and I'll pinpoint some of the things that people ask about a lot. Um, sofas. Um, this is the one that um, swallowed me up on our stop motion. This and our other two chairs are all, all from Rose and Grey, which we got just before Christmas last year. This is our first sofa that is actually comfy. Um, the last one that <laughs> John surprised us with um, He's like, yeah, we've got this, what kind of sort of type of sofa is it? It was a nice um, retro Danish sofa. <laughs> I like how you threw in nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's nice to look at. And um, when it came, it looks like it's, it could be out of a doll's house. It is absolutely tiny, really low to the floor, and is the most uncomfortable sofa ever. Um, it's still we still have got it still here. Next door. It, we've kept it in the toy room, so it's great for just sitting on for very short periods of time, but not when you're watching a full series. So the vintage books as well, our lovely colourful vintage books, which are our pride and joy. We were super lucky. We've got this secondhand bookshop in Chessie Street and we just popped in one day and he had them all, the full collection. And inside every book, it said like between nine and 12 pounds. So we hedged our best, said, how much can we have for the full collection? I think there was about 60 books in total. And he said, 60 pounds. Should we try one? I'm sure the prices are still there. Yeah, they've got the original leaflets in them as well. They are the coolest books. Um, I don't know, it doesn't pop. Try the back. Mm. Try another, just in case. I don't know how long the leaflets in now, actually. Oh, there. The original leaflet. So, I don't, so August 1958. <laughs> Coffee table is from eBay. That's from Rose and Grey. Rose and Grey, TK Maxx, eBay. Yes. eBay. And this lovely little stool was found in a charity shop on Chester Street. So I'll take you through the kitchen. And as I do that, we'll chat about the things that people ask so many questions about. So a lovely tree room separator, divider, separator. So originally we had planned to, this actually wasn't here, this wall was much smaller, uh, but we wanted to have units across this wall, so we built this out. And then the original plan was to have sliding doors or opening doors here. Um, but we realized that was really restricting us when it came to furniture placement in the sitting room. Um, so we had to try and think of a way to have a room divide, but that still let light in and still let us have some furniture around this area. These are bought from the Logman on eBay. Carl the Logman. Carl the Logman. Uh, <laughs> so we've got these four. They are screwed in the uh, ceiling there with sawn off curtain poles, which and boy John did all this, of course. So, I just realised that our kitchen's messy. Oh yeah. <laughs> what about our light? So when somebody asked us if, on one of the question boxes, how do we keep our room tight, house tidy? How is it always tidy? It is not. It's not. But our kitchen. So the kitchen was actually, when we bought it, it was a lot smaller. There was a wall that went from where, pretty much where that radiator is to sort of the end of this wall here. 
Um, we spend a lot of time in the kitchen, we have people over, um, so we want to really open this up. Um, so we knocked that wall out and had a nice long kitchen and we really wanted a breakfast bench. So we got it. Um, I've got a photo here of, the, of the exactly where I'm standing, I think. Oh, well, come on, I'll show you. Is that the order? So, yeah, the kitchen is from Rain, um, and we went with all NEF appliances. So, we've got this is a warm and draw. I feel like I'm doing house fields again. Uh, we've got a warm and draw here. This is a microwave oven, this is the slide and hide oven. Um, we've got a wine cooler there, which it just doesn't get used, does it? No. Dawn drinks red wine and I don't drink wine, so I don't know why we've got that. It's full of cans of cork. <laughs> it's got cans of cork and um, some cotton birds and yeah, no wine. So this area here, when we bought the house, it had this white conservatory box. It wasn't even a conservatory, it was a plastic box on the back of the house and it had these really old sliding doors here and the conservatory was either too hot or too cold so we've never really been able to use the space um, so we only got it replaced October was it last year um, and then just before lockdown um, we removed the sliding doors and it just makes such a difference we actually had some messages of people asking if we'd had an extension and we hadn't it is just a conservatory and it's We've got our lovely dining room table in there and you get lovely views of all the garden. Elvis wants to be in. Oh, honestly. Go and chase the bus. <laughs> so, the kitchen leads into the, con the utility room. The utility room that used to be covered in cladding and had polystyrene tiles. Somebody did ask what we do with Elvis. This is Elvis's room. There's a little bed in the corner there. Pretty nondescript, this is just where we keep all our cleaning stuff, hoovers, steamers. And then we have a little downstairs toilet as well. And then that would take you into the garden if you went that way. So now we'll go into the toy room. This is Penny's little toy room. Um, originally it was the garage um, and then we changed it to be what we thought was going to be the office. Um, we did use it for an office for a couple of years, but then Penny's toys started to spill out all over the house. So we know we needed somewhere to store things. Um, so we changed it in the toy room. She's got a little desk area there, which has been, um, what's the word? Good. <laughs> been really good through uh, lockdown. Uh, invaluable, that's the word. Um, we also built in a cupboard there where we just shove everything in there, all our toys, all the mess, and we just shut the door at night. That is how you keep a house tidy. Um, and before I go anywhere, this is the lovely, most uncomfortable sofa ever. Uh. Yeah, so we had lovely swirly carpets. Um, this was all, this was an understairs cupboard anyway. And then when we moved in, we just John went at everything with a sledgehammer. And my friend still jokes on that we were standing, I was showing her around the house when we first moved in. It was like within the first few days and she came over to see it. And we're just standing in the sitting room. We just see a hammer come through the, the wall. <laughs> So Dawn went round everything with the sledgehammer and we had this lovely big gaping hole for about a year um, until we finally had the money to pay a carpenter. And now we've got, so this is drawers with a um, rail. Do we call them carpenters these days? Yeah, it was just woodwork. That was joiner. <laughs> we're, we're in the 1800s now. <laughs> <laughs> A man who plays with wood. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a cupboard. Um, but yeah, so that's also good for storage and for hide and things. Everything in this house is good for hide and mess. Because inside all of these cupboards is a mess. Ish. So this is the bathroom. When we bought the house, it was two rooms plus a boiler cupboard. 
Um, so the toilet and the bathroom was totally separate, separated by a wall, which was about here, I think. I think we cut that about right. What that meant is on the landing, we had three doors <laughs> all next to each other, so it looked really messy. So we changed just one door and took out the water tank. Was it a water tank? Water tank, and then changed that into a little walk-in shower there. Um, it's quite, it's, it's, it's not a huge bathroom, um, but we were quite set on having separate shower and separate bath as well. Not much else to say about a bathroom, really, is there? <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I know. So I'll take you now into Amelia's room. I think, actually, Amelia's room might be one of my favourite rooms in the house. I'm not sure why. I think it's just, it's just the dream teen room. It's dead chill, she's got TV, bed. I don't know, what's just a lovely room, isn't it? Mm. Um, but yeah, so we did update this a little bit just before lockdown when we were gonna put the house on the market. Um, so Dom did this split level paint feature wall. Um, we've got the, what's this called? Headboard. Headboard from Urban Outfitters. Um, she's got quite a basic bed. But the thing I know you all want to know about is the tree. So she actually used to have two trees on either side. The other tree, its uh, sister, is downstairs now in the kitchen. Um, but originally these were conifers um, in the garden. And when we had the fence replaced, they had to cut down a couple. And we decided to repurpose them. So Dom stripped them down. Did you put like a, a wax on? Yeah, like a an oil. Wax. An oil. A um, few questions were being asked. Does did it have any bugs? There hasn't been any infestation, so I'm guessing not. Um, and these are just fake leaves that we've added. And then if you look carefully, she's even got some little birds sitting in there as well. I was going to say, do you want to tell them how it's fixed into the floor or not? It's just screwed in. No. How is it fixed to the floor? <laughs> um. It's in like a fence post. Um, slot with a, a wrapped in rope to disguise it. It's in a fence post holder <laughs> wrapped in <laughs> rope. <laughs> That's how you do it. We bought me a rug. Oh yes. Oh yeah, I wouldn't offend you by not mentioning your rug. The rug is from eBay. Uh, no, actually. Oh, well. This one isn't. Um, oh, yes, we'll just have to say this because I don't know where it's from. I can't remember. <laughs> it is second hand. Yeah. Where else would you have bought if it was second hand? Why don't we just overlay it onto the video where it's from? <laughs> They'll do that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hold on a minute, let's rewind. And welcome to our room. Uh, so these picture frames get asked about a lot and they are really cheap to make um, and are they easy? You made them. The, yeah, they're quite easy. Easy. Just need well. a glue gun. <laughs> I need a glue gun. So these are just um, standard frames from Ikea and then the branch, um, we found it, we've got some woods quite close to our house and we were just going for a walk one day. John found it and it actually stood in the corner for quite a while, just doing nothing. Um, Actually, do you not remember where that one's from, that stick? I thought it was just the woods along there. We found it in Carmarthenshire in Wales and we brought it back in the car with the kids <laughs> tangled between it <laughs> No, seven hours. I forget that. Because <laughs> we liked it that much. No way, oh That's sorry. It's quite sad really, isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that we drove home. Stuck it down the side and Penny had like twigs around oh, yeah. for seven hours. <laughs> so we went for the pallet bed. Um, it actually gives a lot more storage than I thought it would have, it would give. Uh, Dom's cut out a few little blocks to give us some sliding uh, drawers and then we just sort of shove shoes in any little gaps we can find. The book headboard. Dom <laughs> is cringing right now because it's not looking the best. It's a little bit tatty in areas. Um, it's well loved. But this, God, it must be about three years old now. Um, and really all it is, it's a sheet of ply or MDF. Um, 
we collected a few vintage books from charity shops. They are, you're going to have to describe because I don't, I, uh, I was actually against the book headboard when you mentioned it, so I can't really. I've just screwed hardback books. They were old tatty ones, ones that were, um, you know, also well loved. And I've screwed them on a, a piece of um, plywood. Um, and then we and stapled them the open. Yeah, stapled them open. Um, which is why I think that one needs stapling again. Yeah, the staples are failing. Yeah, um, actually somebody was asking if it got dusty and you know what it is, it hasn't, um, it's actually, it's not something like I haven't ever dusted it, so I don't think it does. It oh, it might be really well, dusty. Well, it just does. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest reason for us moving is the space in the bedrooms. Um, currently, our wardrobes are the shallow ones, they're just from Ikea. Is it 30? centimetres out as are. I think so. Something so it's like a really shallow wardrobe. We've put sliding doors on to try and give us a bit more space. We used to have opening out ones and that they were a nightmare. But the, that that's Dom's and that's mine and that's literally all the storage we have for clothes and pyjamas and knickers and socks and everything. So it is getting really tight at the minute. We did get this off eBay um, end of last year to try and Give a little bit more storage for like a beauty area. It is what do you call it? A bureau. A bureau. A bureau. Um, which we've I've changed my little makeup area. <laughs> um so yeah, we've got some extra little drawers in there, makeup's in there. And again, I can shut the door and keep the mess in. But yeah, that's that's helped a lot in storage wise. That look nothing like Stacey Solomon's uh drawer, by the way. <laughs> no. Unless not Stacey Solomon style, it's uh, Dominic style, which is just shove it in and close the drawer. That's my style. So I'll take you into Penny's room and then we'll have a little trip outside. We'll have to stop them until I get all the door shut. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Junk. We are literally just moving. <laughs> Bubbish, this is what I mean, we've got no space for anything. I had to move rubbish from... It's not rubbish, obviously, it's clothes, but... <laughs> Quite a bit as well. What are you doing? <laughs> Moving the mess. <laughs> it's our uh, box room, which is uh -huh. little P's room. Quite self-explanatory, really. It does have this huge, big storage cupboard in here, which is Penny's wardrobe. I dare you to open that. I am absolutely not opening that. <laughs> no. Um. But yeah, she's got a little single bed, lovely little bookshelf, a lot of nice boobs. This is meant to look like a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Stop that. So many people <laughs> mentioned that when they did house viewings and I had to keep interjecting going, it's meant to look like a cloud. <laughs> I don't, know. <laughs> don't know who believed us or not. It looks um, even less like one when you turn it off and it comes, in, <laughs> and it comes on a different colour sometimes. Yeah, there is a remote to make it different colours. Oh, there. Yeah. Have you done that? It just, sometimes it does it by itself. <laughs> I liked your thinking. It was clever. Thanks, but uh, yeah, I don't know. A great execution. Um, <laughs> she's got these lovely little flanges. These. I did like that you did this though. Thanks. Um, this is, these are all from Ikea and then obviously he's wrapped it around a real stick to make it look like a real plant. Um, and I'm a cream, is it McCream? McCream? McCream. McCream. I have no idea, to be honest. That is from Graham and Green as well. Her bed is from... Maid, I think. Maid. And obviously she has her weighted blanket from Bearaby, who we did some work with earlier this year, but it has, it's amazing, this thing. Um, Don't forget our little Donna Wilson. Oh yes, I can't forget these. Um, a little Donna Wilson cuddly toys. I actually messaged Donna Wilson a couple of weeks ago because uh, she does custom toys and I asked if it was going to be possible that she could do a whip it and she said yes. So when we get in the new house we're going to order a big huge whip it in that style. That's our dog. We have dogs with it, yeah. So I'm just, <laughs> so just because I like. I don't know if that. Maybe I thought that was slang for some uh, <laughs> northeastern yeah, slang. For we've something. got a whippet as a dog, which is why we're going for a whippet. Anyway, I'll go and show you that whippet, and we'll go downstairs. This is 
definitely what I'll miss, I think, most about the house. I'm in the reflection. Does that matter? Nah. Okay. Everyone knows you're there. Fine. Um, because it's South Basin Garden and because of the conifers and because of the high fences, we're protected from most of the wind. So it is like a sun trap as well. It's just the most gorgeous, lovely, tranquil area. Um, so yeah, this garden had a complete overhaul. Um, we obviously built the planter in with all our lovely plants, went for artificial grass, um, and then over there, if you just see my lovely handiwork, I've got a vegetable patch now. I'm a gardener now. All the garden furniture is from Wyvale Garden Centres. Um, the heater there that is a dome heater from heat seal, I heat think. Seal. Um, We've got the tree stump seats there, they are from eBay. They were quite yellow when we first got them and they've bleached out in the sun, which is nice. And then the outdoor rug, that is from Wayfair. So we've got a lovely seating area. I do love our garden. I'm going to miss uh, the garden, aren't you? I'm miss the garden. We'll have a little look in the office. Perfect for taking photos. <laughs> Perfect for taking photos. So yeah, this is the garden office. It went up about three years ago. Um, insert time lapse of a being built. It has full electrics, it's obviously fully alarmed. And, yes, um, and then heating wise, we just use that little Dyson heater in the corner, which is more than enough. But it is nice to have a space where you can leave the house um, and work. It kind of separates the two, working and warm environments. Um, actually, I think you probably use it more than me. I still find myself sitting on the kitchen bench every day, but yeah. Uh, so the units, these are from, uh, made. Made as made. well, yeah. And then the coffee table here, this is from Swoon. Got with our foot. With our foot, that is free. Stinky. Um, Stinky we've foot. got the Fat Boy um, bean bags as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much the office, isn't it? I think that means we're done. Thank you very much for coming. Hope you enjoyed your tour. I've linked everything down below. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.